people, don't worry, this rail line is not active and it hasn't been for quite some time. I'm Benita Springs Community Correspondent Dominga Murray and just about three weeks ago we reported on the fact that there are some people who are not too happy to see this railway turn into a trailway or in other words a place for cyclists to bike and pedestrians to walk. We introduced you to the people who don't want to see this change but now we want to introduce you to the people who fought to make it happen. It's very dangerous. In a county working to be multimodal. We have more deaths and with pedestrians and cyclists interacting with traffic than any place in the country. Deb Orton says she wants to see more spaces for people to walk and bike safely. She's the president and co-founder of Friends of Burt, which stands for Benita Estero Rail Trail. It'll go about a mile into Collier County, so it'll go beyond Benita Beach Road. Almost 15 miles of this railway will be a walkway and a cyclist trail headed all the way up north to Alico Road. The Trust for Public Land helped work up a multi-million dollar deal for the purchase of this railway after four years of negotiation. They have been the lead on negotiating with Seminole Gulf Rail Line to reach an agreement for $82 million um, to purchase this rail cord. In the next two years, Friends of Burt will apply for federal funding, state grants, money from FDOT, and then the involved cities and counties will pitch in to raise that $82 million, something Orton is excited to begin. I mean, I was riding hundreds of miles a week. Now I don't ride at all because we don't have safe places. Then the Florida DOT and Florida Sun Trail program will be contacted after the two years for construction funding. In Benita Springs, Dominga Murray, Fox 4.